Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a camera trick in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to replicated storage and add a remote event. You're gonna rename that remote event to shake event. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to server script service and add a script. We'll rename the script to uh, shake, shake game, we'll name it that. And then in start a player, start a character scripts, we're going to be adding a local script and we're going to rename it to shake client. Okay, N now that we have everything set up, let's get into scripting. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into service script service and go into the shake game script. What you're gonna wanna say is loc shake event equals game dot replicated storage dot we'll call in wait for child shake event. After that we're gonna wait five seconds and we're gonna call the event. So shake event by all clients and we're gonna put like let's say five seconds in it okay we're done with the first script now let's get on with the second script the next thing you want to do is go into start a player start a character scripts and open up your shake client the first thing you're gonna want to do is declare the shake event and equals game dot replicate storage wait for child shake event next you're gonna we're gonna declare the character so local char char uh, local character equals script dot parent next thing we're gonna do is declare the humanoid so local humanoid equals character wait for child and we're gonna do humanoid after that we're gonna call the shake event shake event the on client event connect function and we're gonna put a uh, what's it called para minute and we're gonna put time make sure the for the parent time the t is a capital next thing we're going to do is make a, var a var variable called start time and we're going to make it equal to tick brackets next thing you want to do is create a repeat function so repeat and then we're going to wait so wait and then after that we're going to do local end time equals tick brackets after that we're going to do local x offset equals math dot random and then we're going to do let's do negative 100 comma 100 slash 500 next we'll do local y offset offset equals math dot random and we'll do negative 100 comma 100 slash 500 last thing you're going to do is local z offset z uh, z offset equals mat dot random i will do negative 100 comma 100 out of 500 after that, you're going to do humanoid dot camera offset equals vector three dot new. I'm going to do x offset comma y offset comma and z offset. 
just a quick reminder make sure that all of these are the same as these variables okay after this you gonna after this at the until after until you're gonna do end time minus start time is great then or equals to time okay after that we're gonna do humanoid dot camera offset offset equals vec vector tree dot new zero comma zero comma zero comma zero comma zero okay now we're done with the function let's go test it out just in case if you want to wait longer before the shake event starts you guys can wait like 10 seconds until the shake event starts and if you want the shake to be longer you can change the time here from 5 to like 10 so i'm going to change it to 5. So let's click play and wait in Wait 10 seconds. In this case, you can see the shake event started. Okay, that's it for today's video. If this really did help you, please make sure to put a thumbs up and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. Other than that, thank you and have a great day. Bye.